All right, so another kind of follow-up video. This one is actually really interesting. So this is from a clutch of Borneos, and this is my temperature incubation experimentation clutch. So basically the premise of this experiment was to see if the incubation temperature throughout the end period of incubation has any bearing on coloration of the animals themselves because in certain geckos uh, what temperature you incubate them at for the last week or so of incubation does play a huge role in what color the geckos come out or the intensity of their coloration so this is my kind of control group over here this one was incubated at kind of a steady temperature throughout incubation you know barring your normal temperature dips and everything. This is my experimentation or my uh, experimental group. So these ones for the last 10 days or 14 days of incubation, they got their temps bumped up by about four degrees. So uh, control group, steady temperature, experiment, experimental group, these guys got their temperature manipulated towards the end of incubation. So let's take a look at the control group first. So this is from my garble clutch. So this is granite to marble. You can see nice marble speckling along the bottom. Nice kind of chestnut color. Um, not the crazy blushing down the dorsal like you see in the marbles, but still a very beautiful animal. Nice little partial stripe and everything. Kind of looked like the mom when she was younger. Um, another one right here. This one looks maybe a little bit lighter, but honestly, kind of right in the same, right on par with the other one. Fairly dark tones to it. I like the tail stripe on that one a lot, honestly. Um, just really beautiful Borneo. And then this one is kind of the one that's a, a little bit out of place. Not, I mean, the Borneos have all kinds of genetic stuff that's not typical, so it's, you know, everything's outside of the typical. But this one's got like an interesting look to it where the mom is het ultra because she came from a visual ultra. So this one right here, I would consider like a head ultra, but it's got the nice speckling on the sides from the granite and the marble. It's kind of got a little bit of weird color to it, but uh, I don't consider it super light. Nice color in the cheeks though. Nice like red color in the cheeks. They're very beautiful. All right, so this is the control group. These are the ones that were incubated at a steady temperature throughout the incubation process. So let's take a look at the experimental group. So this one right here is a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. Just take them out so you can see. A little bit lighter gray silver tones in it. Overall, it'll just like compare it. A little bit lighter color especially compared a little bit different looking than those guys a little bit lighter colored could be from that head ultra influence but definitely a, a, a pretty looking snake and then this one right here this one was the grumpiest one from the from the get-go this one does not always like me but this one is super light really really light uh, especially even in comparison to that one super super light and in comparison to these ones over here super super light colored overall so very interesting how light this one is in comparison to the other group so let me put him back because i got an escapee over here Hold on. come back here don't go there okay all right so nice light pretty decent light i mean this the one over on the left has got some dark tones to it, which I definitely appreciate. But overall, it just looks like a more contrasted animal almost to me. And then the last one, because I did I did sell some animals from this clutch. But this is the, uh, the last one. This is one that I'm holding back. This is a male. But look at how light this one is. Really, like significantly lighter than all the rest of them. Significantly lighter. Listen here, you. Not you guys. Stay in there. Stay right in there. Okay. So this one is really light. Look at the comparison between that and that. It is just like shades on shades lighter than either of these or any of the other ones. So really interesting. Like I said, Borneo genetics are kind of all over the place. So who's to say it isn't? Just random variation, and those ones weren't going to end up lighter anyway. But I think it's pretty interesting 
Uh, not a lot of people have worked with temperature manipulation when it comes to incubation of pythons. So I thought I'd give it a shot, see what happens. And so these guys have all had probably three sheds now at least because these were born in 2020. We're just in the beginning of 2021 right now. So several sheds in, you know, they're, they're starting to pick up their color. They're starting to change color a little bit. But look, I just want to like put these two side by side real quick. Because this one, one won't sit still. And the other one is just significantly lighter. Look at that. That is super cool. Because I see these as being very similar looking snakes. Aside from the fact that this one is quite a bit lighter than that one. How cool is that? So... If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you intend on giving it a shot with any of your snakes. I mean, I, I get it. People don't want to, uh, you know, rock the boat, as they say. But I'm very curious to see if this does play any sort of long-term influence on snake incubation. So if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, Rob is Creeping It Real. Check me out on Instagram at Rob is Creeping It Real. And thanks for checking it out.